Hey everyone, this is Alan from BMW Durham back again with another video. We have another new arrival. It's the 2023 BMW i4 eDrive 40 in Portimao Blue Metallic. All right, so this is the 2023 BMW i4 eDrive 40 in Portimao Blue Metallic. Looks really good in this color. I've never seen it in this color up until today. So uh, I definitely wanted to take the time to share this beautiful vehicle with you. And uh, we're going to try and do as much as we can. The problem is this car is filled with its summer tires because the winter tires are on. It's prepped for delivery. It is sold. So I may not be able to show you everything on the inside as I normally would be able to. But uh, I didn't want to miss the chance to share this car with you. So here it is. It looks awesome in this color. So nice. All right, so here we go. Let's take a look at the details. So this is Portimao Blue Metallic in Canada. The 4 Series Grand Coupe is now only offered as an i4. So this is the i4 E-Drive 40. Now we do have individual shadow line LED headlights. That looks really awesome. I love how it's all blacked out. And this one, of course, does have the M Sport package. So we've got the more sportier design and <clears throat> the lower apron. Everything is blacked out down there as well, which looks really good. And we, of course, have the BMW Ronda with the blue accent around. One piece kidney grill with the eye badging there. And if we come around to the side here, so we've got some winter tires on here with a winter wheel. Uh, not 100% sure off the top of my head what these are. I'll have it listed right down here. I'm sure you can read it now. And we do have these beautiful red M Sport brake calipers, which look really good. I do love the red calipers, and I'm not biased just because I have them. Yes, I am. And then we have the black accent. It's got these two little lines here on the fender and it travels all the way underneath the doors just above the rocker panel all the way the length of the vehicle we do have blacked out side mirrors window surrounds car was just tinted as well this is a 35 percent tint in case anybody was asking we've got the sunroof on the top here we've got that new antenna for 2023 and down at the bottom, we've got the black rocker panel that runs the length of the vehicle. And uh, yeah, this, these winter tires and winter wheels actually look really good. Now, if we get to the back, so we've got some I-4 badging. We've got rear diffuser with the horizontal reflectors. And then we've got these massive diffusers. I'm glad that they didn't put fake exhaust or something on the bottom and there's a nice and flat under there too which is cool and this one actually does benefit from getting the kick but I just wanted to show you we've got BMW Rondell with blue accent and camera there so I'm just gonna kick my foot underneath the vehicle there and we'll get this part to open so it is filled with all four summer wheels and tires those are the two pieces of the double-decker uh, cargo cover which of course has been removed to fit all this uh, looks like we've got the level one level two occasional use charger jammed in there and uh, we've got the carpeted floor mats because the winter floor mats are already in up top button to close another button to close and lock but I'm gonna kick my foot into the car and be fancy and we'll have it close up for us like so and while we're back here let me get those tail lights on for you I know you've seen them before, but they look really good. So let me give you another chance to see. And then look at that. We've got the black spoiler as well on the trunk lid. So we do have these new style door handles here and we have comfort access on all four door handles. So you can touch those three lines to lock the car or the inside of the handle to unlock the car while the key is in proximity. Now in the back here, we've got some pockets. The doors are frameless because this is a Grand Coupe. And we have the black uh, Sensatec seats in here. And you can't really see from this angle, but they're on the back of the center console. There's some vents and some rear climate controls. And up top, we've got some reading lights. 
Uh, watch some of my other i4 or M440i Grand Coupe videos to see what the back seating looks like. But uh, the good thing is it can actually fit all this stuff, which is nice. Let's open up the front door. All right, so let me just open. Whoop, let me just open the door handle. So we have the aluminum M door sill down here. We've got a pocket in the side of the door. Door handle with window switch, and there's unlock lock. We have the aluminum rhombicle trim in here with the beautiful BMW iDrive 8 display. If I want to just take a look in here, nice large size glove box. We have power seat on the passenger side. That's the Sensatec seats in black, looking really nice. And we've got down here, look, gear selector. And inside of here, we've got some uh, space here for cups, 12 volt plug, USB, and we have a communication pad. I believe it is also a wireless charger in here. I didn't check, but I think it is. And we've got the blue accents on the shift knob and the blue push start button. And if I lift this up, we do have a USB type C in there. It is illuminated. Let's go open the driver door. All right, so if we open the driver door, we can again see the aluminum M door sill right down here. And we have some window controls, memory seats. We've got tailgate release button, unlock, lock, door handle, power seat on this side as well. And there again is the interior. And if we just go ahead and jump in for a moment. So this one does not have the head up display. And this one has good old fashioned cruise control. It does not have uh, active cruise control. And with this nice display, a uh, couple of trim pieces here. So this one does not have uh, the interior ambient lighting, which is okay. Um, just wanted to make sure that you guys know that there is some ability to get it with or without. We've got rear view mirror and up top, we've got the nice large panoramic sunroof. And overall, it looks really nice in here. I really like uh, this steering wheel layout with that gear selector. Um, and iDrive 8 is definitely growing on me. It's getting easier and easier each day to do everything that I need to do. But overall, it does look really nice in here. And what I wanna do next is let's pull the hood release handle twice. So it's just down here. And let's take a look at what is under the hood next. So we just lift that up, we don't have to find anything underneath, and all we see is this massive engine cover, and then we have positive battery terminal here, washer fluid here, and negative battery terminals just right over there. Not really too much to see under here. However, this engine actually, or a uh, single rear engine in the electric motor in the back, uh, produces 335 horsepower. Uh, 316 foot-pounds of torque, I believe. Uh, it's good for range and uh, instant electric torque. This is the middle. There is an E-Drive 35, E-Drive 40, and the range topping I4 M50. So this is the middle one. And overall, they all kind of look the same under the hood, but just wanted to share that with you. All right, so this beautiful electric vehicle with about 350 kilometers range, looking amazing. Before I conclude the video, I just wanna walk around the car one more time just to make sure you guys really get a chance to see what it looks like from as many possible angles as I can provide in the tight space that I'm in right now. What do you guys think of the BMW i4? I really like it. Once uh, we stop making gas engine vehicles, this is definitely a vehicle to consider. All right, everyone. So that was my tour of this beautiful 2023 BMW i4 E-Drive 40 in Portimao Blue Metallic. Uh, if you like the car, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.